In a world of adults, kids like to have a space that they can call their own. Sometimes, we need to limit that space. I think you guys could use a fort. Household items like an exacto knife. Okay. Why don't you hold this one instead? Some packing tape and a dispenser. Paintbrush and some tempera paints. Some markers. Something to draw on is cool. And also some really uh, heavy duty boxes that you get with appliances or furniture. And if you don't have any, your neighbors sure. might. And you can also. Yeah, here's a paintbrush. No, I will add them. And you can also find them at a local store. And uh, they'd be happy to give you them most of the time. So just let's get started on the boxes, all right? It's time to plan our design. Cameron, let's get started. We'll start out by blocking in our major shapes. In our case, we've got a large box with some flaps. Then we'll start adding our details. We're going to make a castle. So a drawbridge, some windows, a secret door, and some other castle details that we're going to add. You can see how, with a little bit of work and imagination, we've added a crest, a drawbridge that we can open, maybe even a moat, a dragon guarding his trapdoor cave, and even a tower and some flags. And if we get to it, I have a little extension there. I have more playing space. What do you think? Good. You ready to start building? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Now that we've got our basic box design, we're going to transfer a design onto the box with a marker and cut it out with a sharp exacto knife. We'll keep it retracted when not in use, then cut away from the body so we don't get cut. Now that we've added a working drawbridge and a tower, it's time to start our painting. Our cast is finished, time to enjoy. Are you ready guys? I am taking over your castle. Hi, I'm over here. I'm up here now. Who wants to come in for a little party? Come on in. Come on in.